everyone welcome back to my channel um, I am super excited to film today's Chanel 23k video with you I know I have filmed a few 23k videos already but um, some of these bags like I didn't know the prices I know prices now I know you guys probably know the prices as well but I still wanted to film this video because there might be other people who don't know the prices um, and I know that you're busy so everything is timestamped below and I've written a blog article um, that you can go read on my blog it should be up by now if it's not up by now I'll make sure that it's up at some point so I wanted to just go through a few more pieces from 23k um, things which I liked um, and that I just wanted to yeah show you guys get your feedback on and then um, I also want to talk about jewelry and their watches as well um, so we'll talk about that after we finish talking about um, 23k so this is just kind of talking about it again I know but just with like like better pictures and prices as well. I'm going to just use euros, um, but obviously you can go on the Chanel website um, and all the pictures from the website as well. So you can just go on the Big C website and you know see the uh, like prices in your currency. But I'll just use euros for now because you know when I travel to Europe, I normally shop in euros. Okay, so there's this super cute camellia bag. They just call it small flap bag. This is so cute. It comes in pink. It also comes in black. It's absolutely adorable. I do love this. It's patent leather. It's 5,200 euros. Now, when I saw this price on the website, I remember thinking, wow, like this price is actually quite good for a Chanel bag. Um, it's obviously a seasonal bag. It'll just be for 23K. Um, but I think it's super cute. You know, you have that like gold charm there. You have the camellia um, on the front. Um, I think that the thing with Chanel is like I would need to see it in real life to make the judgment because I feel like their product photos are amazing and they really like pull you in and they really make you like want the item. I think it's yeah really really cute, very feminine, very like this is everything that I love about Chanel. Like pink, pink colors, their pinks are always a treat to look at anytime they have collections. I'm always excited to see if they have pink shades. It's feminine, it's girly, it's glamorous, it's Chanel, you know? Because when I think of Chanel, I think of like glamour, like feminine looks, honey, pink, like it's just, it's, it's, it's when, when Chanel wants to put her wig on, honey, she does things like this. I really like this. I think it's super cute. I think if you love Chanel, you love this bag. So the, here it is in pink. So cute. So darling. Um, it also comes in red, so we'll look at it as well in red. But now let's look at the black one. So like I said, 5,200 um, euros. Um, if you're not from the EU, you'll get the VAT refund. Um, the black one is also really nice. I feel like this one, in a strange way, is less hard wearing than the pink one but i think it's so so cute as well i think people will love this um and i'm sure it'll be very popular it has the like so black hardware as well it's really 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 adorable this one is actually 5700 so the black one is more expensive um than the pink one I believe the dimensions are basically the same, but it looks like the black one is more expensive. Yeah, the dimensions are the same. The red one is um, 5,200 and it's in red. Normally don't like red bags, but I think this one is really cute as well. It doesn't have the gold hardware. It seems like it has like a palladium finish, you know, silver hardware. Let me know what you guys um, think about um, these ones. I think when I saw this on the catwalk, I was just really curious to know like what finish they had used um, for the leather. Were they going to go just for like, you know, standard lambskin? Were they going to go? It was hard to tell like when you're watching it um, on the television or whatever. But yeah, now we've seen, you know, it has that patent finish. So the pink and red ones are 5,200 euro and the black one is 5,700 euro which honestly i was really surprised about i remember thinking when i saw them on the catwalk i remember thinking oh my god they're gonna be so expensive they're gonna cost an absolute fortune um for clients but um it's not as expensive as, as i thought of course it's still expensive but it's not like that expensive i wanted to show you these um tweed bags well this tweed bag um it comes in a variation they're like two versions of it but let's just focus on this one it's 5,000 euros, it's um, tweed, obviously, <laughs> as I said. Um, and it has like uh, like gold hardware. I feel like 
Chanel's fabric bags are really cute and fun and edgy. I think they're very youthful because I think that they they bring this like fun kind of casual vibe to the brand and they kind of make Chanel like loosen up a bit and have a bit of fun. I think this one is super, super cute. I just wanted to show you this one because um, I initially when I saw it on the website, I needed to think about it. Like these days, I don't want to just, I, of course I react straight away, but I want to also film follow-up videos to Chanel videos because sometimes with Chanel like you need to, to look at it a few times and see it in a different way and then sometimes you're like oh actually I quite like that or oh, I like this or whatever okay now I wanted to show you this one right here I believe these are sequins um this is absolutely gorgeous yeah these are sequins this is really beautiful it's very pricey it's 7,200 euros um these look yeah like I said it's not they look they are sequins um, very very cute so it's embellished with sequins all over I think Chanel sequin bags are also kind of coming into their own um, as well 7200 it's pricey you know um, more expensive than a uh, lady duo a mini lady duo and lizard um, but I think it's really cute because that's like 7,000 this is like 7,200 but I think this is cute as well I think I thought you guys would like it normally something like this wouldn't be something I would look at because it has blue in it it's um my preference is like things that are like pink yellow green lighter brighter pastel colors that tends to be what I look at but these days I'm trying to be more open-minded something like this I think is cool as well and would look really nice with monochromatic looks now I wanted to show you this um, Chanel 19, um, this is um, available, this is the large one um, according to the website, you know how the website, um, like like the way, the way the website categorizes sizes with the Chanel 19 is different from how like the luxury community does, but we'll just go with what the website says. The website says this is large, this is 6,500, this reminds me of the Chanel 19 in the 19K collection which I believe was Carl Lagerfeld's final collection, there was this houndstooth. Um, Chanel 19 that everyone loved um, and to this day you still see it on resale on the resale markets on the grey market it pops up periodically and it goes for a lot of money and it was part of Karl Lagerfeld's um, last collection um, in this like beautiful houndstooth I, I can see double V she's bringing these houndstooth um, options back but not in that iconic black and white which was from the 19k but this is a different colorway this is cute um it has a neutral kind of vibe again fabric it's tweed it's the chanel 19 the chanel 19 is such a fun bag can't wait to go to europe because when i go to europe i'm definitely going um to the chanel boutiques in paris and i'll because i'll be going to copenhagen to visit my cousin i'll be going to the copenhagen chanel so i'm also really excited to see like which 19s that they have like in store i always find details like that really interesting um if you follow my instagram by the way go follow me on instagram it's high glamazon lux i have two instagrams my personal one don't follow my personal one because it's just like me posting troll things on stories because i'm like a troll but i have like my fashion luxury one called high glamazon lux go, go follow me on high glamazon lux um but like i was saying on my instagram a few weeks ago like i find like like strange details about stores interesting like where they place bags or why do they put the 19 here or why do they put the classic flap here or whatever but yeah i think this one is nice again 6500 for fabric you know some people are like oh my god it's a ton of money whatever but i feel like with luxury it's like it's not it, it doesn't really matter whether you think it's worth the money because to me even luxury lip gloss isn't worth the money but i'm still going to buy it i think people should just buy what they want because i feel like when you think about if something is worth it or not you'll never step into a luxury store forget even like chanel you'll never buy even perfume because you'll be like oh my god i'm just getting ripped off um it's just the nature of luxury it's expensive it is what it is but i thought this one was nice i just wanted to show you oh my god okay so there's this um chanel mini 22 um i love the price point um i just wanted to show it to you because i don't think i'd ever talked about it i love the hardware that the hardware is pink it's a pink bag for crying out loud of course i love it um i've changed my thoughts on the chanel 22 when i went to london in may um i remember this i was going to meet up with a friend for a drink and i was meeting her at waterloo and i was coming out of waterloo station going down um and there was a, a like a lady um who was with her partner and she had a black chanel 22 and i'm like leaving waterloo and i see her with it and i was like why have i been horrible about this bag the whole time once i saw it on a real person in 
the tube in London, the bag suddenly now I can see why people like it. I can see why the girls like it. You know, we're all cracking jokes calling it the trash bag, but actually it's very cool, it's very functional. Um, it, it looks really great on her. She had a black one, it looks fantastic on her. Um, normally when it pertains to the 22, I think it looks better in fabric, um, but I do think it looks really good here. According to the website, this is caviar. Um, yeah, love this. Really, really cute and it's pink. So again, caviar, so the girls are going to love it. Love that Chanel hardware um, that's like also pink as well, that like ultra matte hardware. Love that. Great price points, €4,950. Great price point. If they bring this back, they will increase the price. <laughs> they, will, they will increase it. It's the mini one, obviously, so it's small. But I, I just thought that this was good and it's pink and I just wanted to, yeah, let you guys know about that. And also just, again, I feel like a hypocrite, you know, because I was like slagging it off. <laughs> but once I saw it on someone in like a real life situation, not in a store where like the essay is going to like pressure you to buy it, <laughs> you know, because the essay is going to be, and particularly like luxury essays, luxury essays will tell you whatever you need to hear to separate you from your money boo boo okay they are gonna tell you you look amazing you look like that girl honey you look like the baddest chicken town even if you look like a turtle carrying it they will tell you that so i think sometimes like when you see something in the store it can be hard to like see it in real life and then when you see it on a person in a real life situation like i was on the tube i was i was at waterloo and i was like oh my god it looks amazing on her and so now my views on it have changed for sure um so yeah i just wanted to show you this one love it love that hardware so beautiful okay and the final one that um i want to show you is the this fabric 22 with the camellias uh, i mean again i don't know what happened to me i hated this bag i feel i'm, I'm, a, I'm a liar <laughs> but i do love this i think it's super cute super darling so i wanted to know what you guys think of it because again i feel like a hypocrite and a liar and i don't want to be that <laughs> But I do think this is really cute. This one looks like the large one. Um, it's five, yes, yeah, so I think, so that was the Chanel mini. So this is, I think this will just be like the small. I think this is the smallest, 5,000 on um, 500 euros. Um, so yeah, let me know <laughs> what you guys think about it and what are your thoughts um, on everything. Yeah, I just, yeah, I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about everything. Um, I think when it pertains to Chanel, like with 23K, I feel like they have done, like this collection has been interesting to me because all I've seen is like really, really nice um, like reviews about it. Like normally with Chanel, like people are like, oh, I don't like this, I don't like that. And the, the reason why I didn't focus on the Chanel Kelly bag is because I've already spoken about it. Um, so there's no point like talking about it over and over again. Everyone's like gone crazy for the Chanel Kelly bag. Everyone wants to talk about it. And everyone's like going crazy about it like chanel have a hit on their hands um a runaway hit as it were um i don't know what you guys think about the chanel kelly bag but i decided not to focus on it because there's so many other hits in this collection and i feel like sometimes with chanel it's like sometimes they'll release a collection and it's like okay i really don't like that and then other times they'll release a collection and it's really beautiful it's really amazing so when i go to europe this autumn winter i'll report back because i'll definitely be going to chanel i'm um, definitely for sure to buy something i won't tell you what i'm getting um but i'm pretty pretty sure that i'm going to get it so i'll keep it to myself so you just have to wait and see um but yeah i'm really really excited um to go to chanel now i wanted to show you some things from fine jewelry that i like um I, I feel like with Chanel's like fine jewelry, um, I feel like it looks really beautiful. Again, great reviews. I feel like it also is maybe a little bit more unique, particularly because we live in this like Cartier and Van Cleef world where everyone shops at Cartier, everyone shops at VCM. People love those brands. Don't don't get me wrong, I love Cartier. Van Cleef is also nice. I've seen watches that I like from them as well. But I wanted to show you some of their like like some of their fine jewelry, which I thought was really nice. So I wanted to show you these ones here. This is called the Extra de Camellia. They're 18 karat gold, um, rose gold earrings with like a diamond in the center of the camellia. These are so cute, so feminine, so darling. They're 6,300 euros. Tell me what you think about them. Their, their fine jewelry is quite pricey, but to me it's not, not that 
more expensive than how Dior or Louis Vuitton price their fine jewelry. A lot of the times with fine jewelry, people will say things like, you know, like I'll just get my jeweler to make it. I've I've bought um, gold earrings from a local jeweler. I have that unboxing on my unboxing playlist. Um, I like everything. I'm not someone who pigeonholes myself. Like I will only buy like something from Casio or only buy it from a local jeweler. I want to buy, I want to see what's on the market. I like choice. And I think maybe it's because I live so far away. So for me, seeing choice is very, very important to me. Another, another thing which I saw that I thought was super cute and that I like are these Coco Crush hoop earrings. They're 6,050 euros. Um, Chanel, they're gold. Chanel calls it 18 karat beige gold. Again, would need to see them in person, but I think that they look really, really cute as well. I really like these earrings as well. These are the Extra de Camellia hoop earrings. They're 18 karat rose gold, 7,150 euros. Very, very cute. I'm wondering like if the Camellia, like when you put it here in your ear, like I'm wondering like how comfortable it would be, but they do look absolutely adorable as well. So I just wanted to quickly show you. There's also this, this new collection, it's called number five. I don't know how I feel about this because for the most part, I think Chanel's fine jewelry is very cute, very feminine and just, yeah, it looks really gorgeous and stuff like that. I don't know how I feel about this number five collection. I can't say I'm gagged, honey, uh, or I'm like really excited about it. So I just wanted to just quickly show you some, a few pieces, um, but, I, but I don't love it, you know? And you know when you're like, okay, I'm not gagged, honey, um, you just kind of like, let's move on. According to Chanel's website, um, these earrings are new. So I just wanted to quickly show you. One is from the Extra to Camellia line. The other is from the 1932 Comet line. They're earrings. Um, tell me what you think about them. According to the website, it says it's new. Um, the Extra to Camellia ones are 8,300 euros a pair. And the Comet 1932 line is 11,000 euros a pair. The 11,000 euro ones are white gold. Again, quite pricey. For a, for a simple design. I think the extra de camellia ones are prettier and look more dainty and cuter. Um, you'll ne let me know what you think. But like I said, I feel like with, again, with fine jewelry, I don't like rules. Like I don't like this idea that, you know, some people say, oh, I would only get it at my jeweler. I wouldn't buy it from Louis Vuitton. I wouldn't buy it from Chanel. I wouldn't buy it from Dior. I mean, I feel like you're kind of shutting yourself out um, in, in that sense, I feel like you should be open-minded. We should all be open-minded. I mean, it's the same view I have about watches. I don't think Rolex is the only option if you want something really high-end. I feel like there are a lot of great options out there. But my views on watches, you know them. I've told you before. It's just more about aesthetics to me. So, and with that, let's move on now um, to the discussion of the watches, which is the Chanel La Premier watch. Now, I like this watch a lot but I need to see it in person. The problem is like, you need to, you need to like see the way the watch looks in person um, in, in order to kind of see how does it fit on you. I believe the price of the watch um, is like 5,500. I'm just trying to pull up um, the information. It comes in like two finishes. It comes in, you, you can basically choose the band as well. So you can choose like, there's like a there's like a band called Premier Ribbon. There's another band here called Premier Gourmet Chain, and then there's another one called Premier Iconic Chain. Now the Premier Iconic Chain is like the one that looks most like the original um, reissue. Now in the in in Europe, I believe, like I said, it's no, it's not five thousand five hundred. In Europe, it's six thousand one hundred euros, and in the US, the Premier Edition. Um, with gold hardware is $5,950 and then the ribbon edition which is steel and diamonds with a black rubber band is $5,900 honestly I think it's probably just better to just get the premier edition because obviously it's been so popular they've released them with different bracelets so ceramic bracelet the gourmet one the iconic um, like chain one as well um, I just think that the iconic one probably looks best but like I said I haven't tried it on yet I would need to try it on um, in order to see. So you can choose like the gold hardware or you can choose silver um, hardware. Of course, for me, I would choose gold. I like this watch. I think it's super, super cute. It's really adorable, but I need to see it in real life um, to, to know. One thing I do like is the price point. I think 5,950 US dollars is good for this. I think 6,100 euros um, is good for this. Don't forget, you get the refund as well, but it's hard to tell without seeing it on your wrist. And that's the problem with watches, particularly for me, because I go so much based off the the actual like 
the the picture like the picture basically um on the website but i just wanted to show it to you um so as you know this was a reissued watch i believe the first year it was released was 1987 and then chanel brought it back honestly generally speaking i'm not a huge fan when the girls reissue things all the time it's giving i'm lazy it's giving i don't have any new ideas before. and all of the girls right now are reissuing things big c big h dior honey big lv like all of the girls are reissuing things sometimes i feel like it's like looking into the past too much can get a bit boring i'm not a huge fan even though i love history and i love the 50s and 70s i'm not a massive fan of always looking into the past eventually you're gonna have to create new ideas so we have new ideas for today however i do like this reissue watch and i wanted to recap um 23k again but this time with prices and i've shown you fine jewelry and we've also gone through la premiere um again they have so many different bracelets now it seems that the reissue has been successful i think many people like this watch because it's quite subtle it's quite discreet it does say chanel on it but it's very subtle very discreet um i think depending on where you work um for your job you could even wear it to work it just depends um not that many people could could read i think the fact that so it says chanel on the face um like that um i i for me personally i don't feel like it's that visible i don't know what you guys um think um and then super quick the case size is 26 millimeters so it's very small it's not like it's like a huge watch that everyone can see so the, it is kind of discreet to be honest and that is something which i think is super cute so i'd love to know what you guys think about this watch i'd love to know what you think about this video what do you think of my chanel videos um i have another chanel video coming um because the, the catwalk show is coming um before spring summer 2024 and that will be on tuesday so i'll have a video not on tuesday but i'll have a video um, as soon as the like high quality pictures leak, um, we'll come and do a recap of that. I'll also recap Louis Vuitton, of course, which is on Monday. Big H has already happened, but I want to recap Chanel and Big LV first, and then we'll recap Big H as well. I watched the Dior show, I didn't love it, so I'm not going to recap Dior. Even though I do like Dior, I just didn't love the collection. So I feel like I want to like come like excited, and if I don't love it, I'm kind of like, ah, you know, I don't know if I want to come and talk about it. But I still love Dior Honey and her wig. So please, like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hit notifications if you like what I'm doing. Subscribe to my channel. That's the most important thing. And hit notifications. And then if you like me, go follow me on social media. I'm on TikTok. I'm on Instagram. Hi, Glamour's on Lux. You can also go join my Facebook group. If you love Chanel, I'd love to see you in my Facebook group because I'd love to see more Chanel um, aficionados in the group. So go sign up. It's linked below. Um, thank you so, so, so much for watching and supporting. I have lots of great content coming up. Um, I'm sticking to my current schedule right now, which is two videos a week. Next week, it's not going to be two videos a week because obviously Louis Vuitton, honey, are going to be releasing um, their show on Monday. Big C as well, Big H has released, and then I have other content I wanna share with you. So next week I'm going to end up releasing a few videos, but it's only because I have to like, make sure that we're all caught up on Paris Fashion Week, okay? Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next week in my subsequent videos.